Hi, my name is Chris, and welcome back to my unepic walkthrough. I believe I want to hand in this quest to get it out of the way. I guy wanted 80 coins. I've got 376. Yeah, what can I say? I got money. I've got a pet rolling with me too. It's all good. You do get more pets. Huh, <laughs> Sage has no idea. It's like So if you play this game smart you can actually outwit your opponents. That's what I like. If you just play it smart. You don't even have to take any damage. Right, I'll I'll I will spoil a little bit here. The the tower. The area right before the end is tough as nails. It's safe to say I died more than a few times, but uh, I think it took a long time to complete. A lot of trial and error. Well, I wouldn't say a lot of trial and error. Just figuring out how to beat each particular part without a checkpoint most of the way through was pretty tough. Because I had a choice, I was faced with a choice, right? And I could either A, go back and heal, restock all my arrows and get more potions and stuff, and lose all my progress, well, most of my progress. Or stay and try and fight it with what I had. And I stayed, I just kept on trying and trying. I got a lot more confident towards the end, because all I did was just beef up on health potions, put a regeneration potion on. I'm actually saying way too much right now because I'll be spoiling it for you, but I started to play smarter. I'll leave it at that. Cool, that's all we need for this quest. This game's sense of humour keeps on going throughout the entire game. It's pretty good. I like it. Reminds me of Magicka, and there's, there's far less obscure references in this game. I think you already said this, didn't you? What do I need to do? I think I need to use the water. Yeah, there we go. I'm not 100% sure whether I need to actually talk to this guy, but let's go find out. That's a no. Okay, let's get out of here. So I need to go up here and fight something in the crow room. Quickest way to do that is just to teleport back. And it's going to be far easier now. Another good thing you want to keep out, um, keep in mind, is having your pet out early so that he gets to charge up all his uh, go away, all his mana, so we can do this. <laughs> Makes this so much simpler. Oh, nice. I am the law. Awesome. There's the sapphire. Okay. I knew I had to pick it up off some monster somewhere. Oh, wow. You can actually get two. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's like. It's kind of a bug, but basically it looks at your inventory and says, have you got a great round of sapphire yet? And it just drops them. So if you get, if it drops twice in a row, or even four times, or five times, you know, it's like, the game doesn't know. I do need to change my active quest though, so I know exactly what I'm doing. Coral crown. Coral crown. Yeah, I'm 
pretty sure I need to go into the sewers for that. Okay, okay, I'll dodge that one. And the trident. Yeah, again, I think I have to go into the sewers for that, but we will find out. Oh, I will find out for you. Now, to me, this is a pretty old quest. Maybe I shouldn't have played so far in. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm back over here. So I need to get over here. So again, I'm going to teleport back. And... Let me just check my inventory. Everything's fine. This may not be the best angle to go at it from, but because I've done this before, I'm pretty confident I know my way around doing it this way. I've got a fairly good sense of direction and everything, but if I'm going to go through an area and provide helpful information, then I'm going to need to know where I'm going. This can be quite tough, especially at this level. So I'm just going to be patient. There we go, that guy turned around. That guy's going to run towards me. I'll kill this guy while he's coming. Nice. And then I'll get my bow out. I don't stand a chance. Awesome. Things are a lot easier with a bow. So having played through quite a lot of this game already, I've figured out some of the things I should. Especially more than I knew when I first started recording this walkthrough. Alright, and before I go over there, there is a nice little side quest over here. He will. Later. Now, this guy won't see me. And he won't get a shot off, shot off in time. Damn right I will. Because guess what? I get him as a pet. So awesome. Wow. I'll take this nice and slow. It can be pretty dangerous running in here. Uh, <laughs> needless to say. If you get caught in a, 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 a shooting animation then you are kind of boned. Getting hit by three fireballs is not the cleverest of plans. So let's take your time with these. 
Unless you're feeling particularly cocky. Without the ones, this is actually quite difficult. The ones do about 80 to 120 damage. And that should make light work of these guys. Ah, why did I do that? Good greedy. This one is over already. <laughs> See, I'm telling you to be patient, and I can't be. Um, I was thinking, yeah, I can do that. Yes. Oops. Wow. Okay, let's get rid of this guy before he dies. Okay, if you just re-summon him, he'll be on full health instantly. Nice. Yeah, he's gonna die again. Watch. F7! Get him! Oh, I think I did it, yes. Alright, I'm gonna run over here. Get his attention. Lock on. And run back. And you can shoot. While jumping. But I don't think I can... I can do it. I don't have the necessary skills. I don't need that guy, there's no point in risking his life. There we go. There's a better way to do it. Can't touch this. No, 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 no. No, no. No, no. Can't touch this. Oh, yeah. It's a nice of it to give us loads of red essence when that's not really what we need right now. these guys head on. Wow, it's not doing anything. If these guys get too close, I'm running. Ah! Uh, okay, what do I do? What do I do? Level 2 in 1s. I don't think it's worth it, to be honest. Although, saying that, <laughs> they're gonna own me. So, I might as well use some of these potions. I think they should have turned around by now. Oh wait, maybe only one of them has. I'll just hit him. So there's a there's an option for you. Just lure them over here. Wait till they've turned around. Jobs are good. Now, what was it? Well, there it is. That means you can stand on it and you can get your dying cold axe. Luckily for me, I do have essence ready. Yeah, it does sound like torture. Um, this guy's not going to be that useful against these guys because these are frost type. But I believe this has been quite enough for uh, one part, so I hope you've enjoyed this and will and join me again in the next part. <laughs>